Welcome to your Friday Flow with me, Mathia McKinley. Today's sequence is a restorative, gentle flow that will promote total body relaxation. We'll begin today's sequence in child's pose with the arms extended in front of the body, the forehead resting easily on the mat, the knees spread wide, and the mounds of the big toes touching. Begin to deepen the breath here and become present within the body. As you exhale, slide forward, bringing your chin and chest to rest on the mat and the hips to rise above the knees. As you begin to breathe here, feeling length through the entire spinal column, really noticing how as you inhale, we expand through the side body, chest, and mid-back. And as you exhale, deepening the posture by expanding through the underarms, side body, and upper spinal column. Last breath here, and as you exhale, feeling yourself melt deeper into the posture. And inhaling, bringing the body into a tabletop alignment, knees beneath hips and hands beneath shoulders. Round out the spine as you extinguish all the air from the lungs, cat pose. And as you inhale, create curvature through the spine, tilt the tailbone up in the back, the crown of the head lifts to the ceiling. Exhale back through cat, round out. Inhale once again, coming into cow, curvature feeling mobility and length through the entire spinal column. One more cycle here, exhale, cat. Inhale, coming into cow. And on the next breath, coming into a neutral alignment. Inhale as you raise the right arm in front of you and the left leg behind you. Continue to ground into the stabilizing knee and hand as you lift and extend from the left leg and right arm. And the next inhale, squeeze the gluteus and engage through the upper back as you lift arm and leg. And as you exhale, draw the knee and elbow underneath the body, engaging through the core. Again, lift and extend. And as you exhale, draw the knee in and under the body, feeling a cat sensation rounding through the spine. Last time here, inhale, lift and expand. Exhale, drive the knee and elbow underneath the body. Inhale again, extend arm and leg, reaching through the fingertips, the toe tips, and as you exhale here, coming back to neutral alignment tabletop. Preparing for the left side, extend left arm, right leg behind you. Breathe in, feeling length the entire posterior. As you inhale, lift and squeeze, right leg high, left arm lifts, and as you exhale, draw the knee and elbow beneath the body, drawing the navel to the spine, rounding out. Again, inhale, lift and expand. Exhale, drive knee to elbow beneath you, cat sensation through the spine. Last time here, lift and expand, reach and engage, stabilize through the standing arm and leg. Engage through the core as you drive elbow to knee. Extend once again and come into neutral tabletop as you exhale. Take a moment here to establish the presence within the body and within the breath. And slowly begin a transition towards a seated position in the center of the mat with both legs extended wide. Check in with the alignment here. The feet shouldn't be so wide that you experience discomfort within the hips. Lengthen through the spine, and as you exhale, hinge forward, folding over between the two wide extended legs. Externally rotate through the hips so as that the big toes point up towards the ceiling. And with every exhale, deepening the posture by melting deeper within the forward fold. Inhale to rise, coming back to center and draw the left knee into the body. Rest the left sole of the foot on the inner thigh and draw the left arm up and over the body, resting the right forearm on the ground in front of you. As you exhale here, deepen and expand through the intercostal muscles of the side body, gazing gently upwards towards the ceiling. Breathe in and as you exhale again here, folding forward over the right extended leg feeling the transition of length 
move into the back body and the spinal column. Take a few deep breaths here to relax into the posture and allow your body to fully relax into the forward fold sensation. On the next breath in, gently rise, guiding the right knee in and taking the foot over to the left side of the body for a seated twist. We'll take the left arm high, bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee, and gently rotate to the right side of the room gazing over the right shoulder, lifting up and out, rotating from the belly button line. Inhale, expand the body. Exhale, rotate slightly deeper, grounding through the sits bones. Last breath here, and as you exhale, gently bring the left arm high and come out of the twist, preparing for burning logs. Guide the left ankle slightly further in front of you and stack the right leg on top of the left so as that the shins are in alignment, one on top of the other, ankle above knee, knee above ankle. Gently and slowly hinge forward, folding over the crossed legs, resting the forearms on the ground or a block and allowing the head to weigh free on the neck. We'll spend a few deep breaths here in burning logs to release any residual tension through the sacrum and low back. Inhaling to expand and lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, melting deeper into the posture, creating openness and relaxation. On the next breath in, walk the hands back into the body, gently uncross the legs and extend them out to the sides and in front of you, coming back into that wide angle forward fold. So we'll externally rotate through the hips, pointing the big toes up towards the ceiling and allow the torso to melt forward down towards the ground, lengthening the entire spinal column from tailbone to crown of the head. On the next breath in, go ahead and draw the right leg into the body, placing the sole of the foot on the inner thigh. Now perform the same sequence on side B, resting the left forearm on the mat in front of you, extending the right arm up and over, gazing towards the ceiling and lengthening through the entire right seam of the body. Inhale to lengthen and expand, and as you exhale, rotate the core and chest down towards the extended leg. Bringing one arm on either side of the shin or foot, allow your torso to fold forward over the extended leg. Inhaling to lengthen here, and as you exhale, feeling a really nice lengthening through the spinal erector on the right side of your back. We'll spend another few moments here in an extended forward fold, just relaxing into the posture and experiencing length through the full spinal column. On the next breath in, guide the left foot up and over, kickstanding the left hand behind you, take the right arm high, and prepare for a seated spinal twist. Bring the right elbow on the outer edge of the left knee, lift up and out of the sits bones, and rotate to the left side of the room. Drawing the navel in towards the spine, lifting through the heart, gently take your head over towards the left shoulder and breathe, inhaling to lengthen, exhaling to deepen the posture, always elongating the spine and rotating from a space of length. Last breath in here, and as you exhale, take the right arm high and gently come out of the twist, preparing for burning logs. So we'll stack the left leg over the right so as that the shins are in alignment and you're really rooting into the sits bones. Gently and slowly hinge forward over the cross legs and bring the forearms to rest on the floor or a block. So we'll spend a few breaths here, just allowing every breath to move you deeper into the posture, finding length and openness with every inhale and with every exhale, surrendering into the hip opener and allowing residual hardness, tightness, or stickiness to be absolved from the hips and sacrum. A few more breaths here. And as you inhale, begin to walk the hands back into the body. Gently uncross the legs and in whichever way is comfortable for you, come to a seated position along the long side of the mat 
will extend the legs in front of the body, take the arms high, and balance everything out with a really nice juicy forward fold. So lengthening, creating symmetry through the entire back body. Allowing the head to be really heavy here, feeling length and sensation through the hamstrings, the glutes, the low back, all the way up the spinal column and into the neck. Coming back to the breath and the awareness within the body, begin to rise towards a seated position as you inhale. And as you exhale, extending the arms out in front of the body, tucking the pelvis under, drawing the navel to the spine, and slowly descending down towards the ground. Controlling the descent by maintaining an engaged abdominal section, and as soon as the shoulders, neck, and then head make connection with the mat, adjust your alignment so that you rest easily down into the floor. Coming into our final posture of the class, Shavasana, an opportunity for complete relaxation. So allow the feet to splay out comfortably and the arms to rest easily down by your sides. You can close the eyes here and just allow the breath to move freely through you and become aware of any sensation that came up within your individual body in our sequence this morning. Gently draw one knee after the other into the chest and hug them into the body. Here, gently begin to rock side to side, just allowing the weight of your body to gently massage the hips and sacrum into the mat. Still continuing to breathe here, we'll grip behind the thighs and begin a gentle rocking forward and back, just massaging the full length of the spinal column into the mat. Arriving in a seated position here. You can keep the eyes closed if you like. We'll finish our sequence today. Namaste. As always, thank you for practicing with me today. <laughs>